this would be a really good time to talk about screws that are needed to build your custom rig. You know, it's real important to use the proper screws in your build. So in this video here, I'm going to go ahead and go through the screws and kind of give everybody an idea for new people. If you try to put, if you're trying to put, mount a motherboard in a case and you go to tighten it down and you start noticing it getting tight like right away, something's not right. It is not supposed to get tight right away. It goes in really easy. Uh, new people who are trying to build computers are struggling with this and really there's there's no instructions out there on on what screw goes where so they're just so they're cranking these screws down like like you know like and they don't know that they're not supposed to be hey everyone tim with tim's computer repair once again, I've got another home-built custom computer that came into my shop. Uh, it says it won't post. Just noticing uh, right off the bat, there's no I.O. shield. That's not has not been installed. But look at how this board is sitting in here. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, that's not looking good there. I'm not about to even try to power this on without uh, investigating that and being sure nothing is shorting out. Okay, laying down, got the side panel off. Um, wow. Uh, first thing that I noticed, and I've seen this on some of the other ones, I can already tell if you look at those screws, there's two of them right there. Those are the wrong motherboard screws. They have, they have basically gone down into the into the standoffs probably and has now stripped them out. Wire management looks okay on the back side of this board. Uh, nothing really stands out as being a problem, but uh, I've heard a screw rolling around in here, and uh, it turns out that it's this one. It looks like the same exact screw that may have been used to try to install the motherboard. The head looks the same. Look how that is not a motherboard screw. If he's used these, it looks like he has. I'm going to have to back everything out of this and investigate a little further. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have to remove the card and hopefully get this mounting situation. I'm probably going to have to take the whole motherboard out of the case and test it outside of the case. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's let's uh, get going on that. Okay. I'm going to see if I can loosen up these wrong screws here. Well, that seemed to have come out okay. I'm quite sure it stripped out that uh, standoff. Here's another one. Oh, I got it to do something. Oh, wow. That's a different screw from all of them. How about that? Okay, let's just go ahead and Remove this and we'll see how he's got a... Uh, I don't think there's no damage done under here. All right, we have everything plugged in with our test power supply. He says he wasn't getting a post. Let's see if that's still the case. I'm going to jumper. Yeah. We have spinning fans. Oh, and there we go. Yeah. Looks like uh, he's just fine there. Looks like it. So basically we just get this mounted back into the case. And we'll uh, see where he wants to go from here. So I've gotten this 
the motherboard, computer, the whole computer basically. I've gotten this back up uh, and, uh, correctly, uh, proper wire management. I've gotten, I've gotten the uh, motherboard with the proper screws put in. But notice now it, this is nice and flat, I mean even. It's not bent and bowed out. I got it mounted properly in there. This would be a really good time to talk about screws that are needed to build your custom rig. Uh, and every case comes with a box of screws. So this is my own box of screws. This is my own collection. Uh, over the years, uh, you know, any screws that are left over, but every, every desktop you purchase will come with the small box of screws, there's no instructions on there to tell you where these screws go. And I think this might be a good time to make a video here to kind of let anybody who's wondering, because I've seen some computers come through here that they've built themselves and they've been using the wrong screws to mount their motherboard, using the wrong screws for the hard drive. Uh, just just a, a, a disaster. So, um... You know, it's real important to use the proper screws in your build. So in this video here, I'm going to go ahead and go through the screws and kind of give everybody an idea for new people. So let's get started with uh, what they call standoffs. Standoffs, which look like this. They have a threaded male side on this end, and then they have a female side on this end. These are basically used to mount your motherboard to the case. So if you notice here, this motherboard has a gap behind it. Right? I can almost stick my finger back there. It's raised off this back part of this case. Now I know there's a lot of techs out there that already know this is basic knowledge. This video is for new people who are trying to build computers and understand things for the first time. And I think understanding these screws and terminologies and all will help them greatly. So behind this motherboard, motherboards have certain uh, eyelets for screws. In order to get a screw in, you don't want to screw right into the back of the case. This is for a larger motherboard here if you wanted. But this is where one of these standoffs go. And it screws right into that hole just like that okay and then that will give something for the motherboard to sit on and then you can put your screw in so a lot of times the cases will come with these standoffs already installed you just have to move them around to the proper configuration for your motherboard so that's what these are these are called standoffs now keep in mind that motherboards sometimes come with their own kind of proprietary standoff. So not all standoffs will work on every motherboard. Some of them are slightly bigger. Um, and I don't know why they do that. But one thing's for sure is usually the, the female end will take the regular motherboard screws uh, that I'm about to show you here. This is a really big mistake that a lot of people make building computers. There are so many different types of screws that look very familiar or very similar. So look at this one here, and this one has like a, a flat uh, ring around the screw itself. Uh, different from this type screw here, which does not have that flat ring around it. This will fit a standoff, sort of. It will get cross-threaded most of the time, and that's a big mistake people make. So, again, this is a motherboard screw. If you're trying to put a motherboard or mount a motherboard in a case and in your standoffs, right? Because your standoff is going to be mounted, your motherboard is going to be on your standoff, and then, you, and then this screw goes inside of the standoff between your motherboard and the standoff to hold the motherboard into place. So listen, 
there should be no reason you should meet any resistance. Notice how I can just turn that by hand very easily in and out, no problem. If you try to put, if you're trying to put mount a motherboard in a case and you go to tighten it down and you start noticing it getting tight like right away, something's not right. It is not supposed to get tight right away. It goes in really easy and you should have no issue putting that screw in. If that screw gets tight like immediately, it's not the right screw or something's wrong with the standoff. Stop right there. Don't go any further and try to figure out why that's not going in. This is pretty standard stuff across the board. So again, these are what motherboard screws look like. So don't make the mistake of using any other screw but this to mount your motherboard in your case. Next up we have these guys. It's got a flat head on them. And if you notice, the threads here are really far apart. These are really, for one thing in my opinion, uh, and the main thing that they're used for is case fans, the 120 millimeter or 180 millimeter. These are strictly used for case fans. So when you go to mount a fan into a case, this is the screw you want to use. And when you go to start to install this screw into the fan, you will meet resistance right away. Don't let that scare you. It's meant to bite down on the plastics of the screw hole of the fan. This is the one time that I will say when you meet resistance, it's okay. You're supposed to have resistance when you tighten these up on your fan. Fan screws, that's what they look like right there. Sometimes you'll be given screws that look kind of funny like this. It's got a flat head. And then it's got a, a gap before you get to the actual threads. Okay, this screw is mainly for drive caddies. All right, they're probably used a little less nowadays since everything's moving to SSDs and M.2s. But, you know, mainly drive caddies uh, is what these screws are used for. Every now and then you might find a different use case for them from a case. But uh, I'll give you an example here. This is an old drive caddy right here and, uh, and you see these screws that are in it. It's got a drive mounted in here. If I take that screw out, you'll see that it has a very similar look to it like the one I showed you. So these are drive caddy screws, okay? You don't use them for anything else. Okay, then you got these screws right here. These screws right here have a hex head and a Phillips head. So you can use two different types of tools on this screw to tighten them up. The threads on them are fairly far apart, but they're distinctive for sure because they got a hex head on them basically. These are mainly used for power supply. I'll show you here. As you can see here, those same screws that I was just showing you are used to mount the power supply. Okay, now that's mostly the use case for these. Also, there are some cases, and it depends on the manufacturer of the case, that can be used to mount or to secure your peripherals here, your expansion slots. Okay, sometimes they do use that uh, for that. But most of the time, it's been used to mount and hold your power supply in place. How about these guys? Got a big fat head on the end of it and a little skinny, you know, threaded part. It does have the spacer there in between, but it's, it's unmistakably got the big, it's bigger up top than most, uh, than almost all the screws used in cases. This is mainly used to secure uh, the side panels, 
I know you guys have seen that. You'll see that on your case. This one here has that too, see here? To secure your side panel. That's mainly used for that. I also have seen them use it in these expansion slots also. You know, if you go to, this is, this is you know, one of the things you don't want a, a lot of resistance on. If you go to use this in an expansion slot, and you're getting like really tight right away, uh, something's not right there. So use your best judgment on it. Another type of screw is uh, these uh, flat screws here. They're similar to the other flat ones, except they don't have a space between the, the top and the thread. Really tough to show you guys here, but uh, you know, you got to watch out with these. Uh, this one has threads that are a little bit further apart than this. This has threads that are really close. Uh, this is mainly used to mount drives like like M dot like I'm sorry like like SSD drives, hard drives. Uh, this one has the threads that are really close together. So one way to test this is to go ahead and just try to just put it into one of the mounting holes here of the drive and it should go freely. See how easy it is for me to tighten that up and loosen it? Uh, nice and free. This is another instance where if you go to mount one of your drives and you start meeting resistance as soon as you put the screw in, it is the wrong screw. Do not use that screw. Again, the best way to make sure you're using the right screw is just try it first before you mount it, just like I'm doing. Nice and easy. It goes in and out no problem. You shouldn't be meeting any resistance. So that's important, see. But here is another screw that was in, came with a case. And this has the same type of flat head, but the threads are further apart. Now, if I take this and try to put that in here, I'm met with resistance right away. Do not use this screw. This screw most likely is for something else in the case based upon the manufacturer. I'll give you an example right here. Here are these uh, flat screws here, and there's one right here and here holding uh, these expansion slot cards in place. I'll just take one of these out right here. Right, so this is meant to be used for this case because this screw came with this case. So you got to be careful about which screws that you use uh, when it comes to your case manufacturer and what, what, what they intend for you to use in each instance. Here's one you might see sometimes. This has a rounded tip on it here, not flat, but it's, it's got a point at the end, very sharp point, and the threads are further apart. This is like a self-tapping screw almost. This is used in rare instance, instances on mounting uh, certain like drive bays or whatever into some cases. Some case manufacturers use these screws to mount certain features in the case, such as certain drive bays or what have, whatever, what have you. Uh, just pay attention to that. Kind of tough to, kind of tough to show you where an example of this is, but I come across them often. And the reason why I have several, a lot of them, is because uh, they they were left over from a case that actually used these screws. So don't use these in anything um, like drives or, or any other instant or power supplies. Don't don't use these on those. You will you will cross thread the heck out of uh, out out of the device and it, it it'll ruin it pretty much to where it can't be mounted properly anymore. So be careful of that. It's tough to demonstrate some of this. Basically, you got to use trial and error when you build your own computer. 
and those screws that come with the case they're all different and they're different for a reason look i i don't know if i did a good job of explaining this or not i just i've been seeing this come through my shop where people have been using the wrong screws and they're really goofing up their so, some of their stuff and so i can tell that uh, new people who are trying to build computers are struggling with this and really there's there's no instructions out there on on what screw goes where so they're just so they're cranking these screws down like, like you know, like, and they don't know that they're not supposed to be like cranking them down like that because they're not fitting right. And they're kind of stripping out some of the mounting supports for the components. Anyways, hope this helps somebody out. I did the best I could on this one, guys. So go down, hit the like button, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.